Fourth. Sask Energy is announcing a proposal to jack off, uh, up the cost of heating your home by 27 to 30 percent. Well, it continues pretty much all week long, so drop the clicker here. We're going to get that for you in a second, but just bear with me. We're going to see temperatures right now into the 50s. Oh, do I have to crawl? Okay. I'll crawl. Hold on. You guys won't see me. 56 degrees, 73 by noontime. Your afternoon high. Oh, you can see me. Oh, no. Okay, 69 degrees. I tried to be discreet. It didn't work. All right. Well, ad lib. Uh, pfft, ad lib. <laughs> I didn't even see that in there. <laughs> so much for roasting Mark. Mark since we, we couldn't be there. Well, I'm glad I caught that one. Uh, you know, there's no script for that one. There's no script for that one. <laughs> Okay. Well, if you're going to get wet, here's a good way to do it with Mahalani Richardson. Hey, Mahalani. And coming up at 547, we'll tell you about the Flow Master Competition here at the Hawaiian Winter Adventure Park. I don't think this rain jacket is really working. You're watching KITV4, your island television news this morning. We'll be right back. How the heck did I get this job? Coming up tonight on News 11 at 5, could the secret to having a smaller, smarter children lie in genius, excuse me, in a genius sperm bank? The sperm of men with high IQs was given to women around one country 26 years ago. <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out. you got to wonder how that kind of experiment would turn out. <laughs> then on News 11 at 6, we'll have more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. You got me in so much trouble. You are in so you much trouble. You know what's not funny is the weather. <laughs> that story had you choked mess. up, eh? <laughs> yeah. Michael. Now, even if you're David Attenborough, it's not all that often you can get up close and personal with a big, hairy ape. Well, now you do have your chance just down the road at the Adelaide Zoo. We hope. Well, apparently we don't, so it's... <laughs> Unfortunate, but we've um, got some showdown tickets to give away. Bruce, are you going to join us? I certainly am, Why don't you just pop into the chair beside us and tell us what you've got coming we'll up in sport? Up as we go. Coming up after the break, we do we... have some showdown tickets, Jane. Pop your mic on. Well, I do have to get mic'd up first. Would you do that? That would be a very good thing to do. This is live television, folks. This is what happens when something goes wrong. <laughs> just in case anyone ever wonders or asks me again, <laughs> do we do this live? live? Vasectomies are meant to be a form of birth control, but a study in Thailand has bad... <laughs> Sorry, the video, I mean, so we're just looking right there. But a study in Thailand has bad... <laughs> but a study in Thailand has bad news for couples who want to reverse the vasectomy. They found reversing the procedure may raise the risk of... Can you tell by this video? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. But I mean, the video is just focusing on just one area. Anyway, reversing the procedure may raise the risk of having babies with birth, birth defects. Researchers in Thailand study... <laughs> <laughs> studied 18 men who had their vasectomies reversed. That's how they came up with it. And I guess they There's looked very closely. There's nothing to see, nothing to see. <laughs> uh, we're just not talking. <laughs> and nothing to say either. Nothing Dan's to say. Just like, can we move on? Can we <laughs> move on? <laughs> Let's keep going. Maybe we shall. Okay. Yeah. Human body is an amazing well. thing. Lots to think about there. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, as a whole. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Switch gear. Stop. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, Go ahead. But tomorrow we uh, could have some stormy weather, yeah. Jerry. Yes, we will. We do have some storms out there tomorrow and a hot weekend ahead with temperatures over the weekend up to around 90 degrees. 82 out there today. 82 in Morris. 80 <laughs> Occasional showers and thunderstorms also <laughs> around midnight. 71 now at the <laughs> 73 midnight. 70 <laughs> Sunday, 91. Well, Robin Bryson got so sick of the mess. You know what she did? She hired somebody, a personal organizer. Oh. Mm -hmm to get a garage in shape. This expert said the first thing to do is buy some organizing supplies like oh. baskets and storage units. She actually paid for that advice. <laughs> Next, empty out the garage. Duh. 
Make piles of everything that belong together. For example, automotive supplies in one place, kids' toys in another. Oh, that kind of makes that's sense, how right? Works. Here's another one good for you that this woman paid for. Donate or throw away stuff you don't use. Oh. Now, who'd have thought of that? <laughs> then put what's left back in the proper place. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me say that again. Put what's left back in the proper place. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, there's more, but you know. You Just can, hire that <laughs> person there to come in over and do it for you if you can. Or better yet, assign a teenager to that job. So anyway, Bob, you got your garage cleaned out for spring yet? Yeah, I'm, I, wait, I was taking down the notes here, and uh, I think I'll start. When Did all you else fails, uh, build a new garage, I guess. But, but first, let's take a look outside before we get to the seven-day planner. 50 degrees outside, winds are out of the northwest, 7 miles per hour, humidity 24%, dew point 16 degrees, barometer 30.06. Almanac, today's high, 72 degrees. It felt a little bit warmer today than 72, but that's where we were at. The normal for this time of year, 69. The low, 45. Sunrise, 648. Sunset, 442. Not a lot going on here. You can see pretty clear, a lot of high pressure moving through our area, and it's going to continue that way for the next few days. Few high clouds have moved in, but nothing of significance. Doppler radar, you can see lots of precipitation up here in the Midwest, a little bit in the Pacific Northwest, but things are looking fairly good. And we're having a little bit of Christmas, lots of snow and flurries, windy conditions on the Pacific Northwest. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. We've got go to we gotta go to break. And uh, a little bit more coming up and with sports. We've got some sports coming up, too. It's a wait-and-see approach in the NFL right now. And it's time for birthdays. Let's take a look. Uh, Lou Brickin. Happy, I uh, hope your, your big party goes smooth. Love, Beth. And let's see, Gabe Asher. Happy birthday, Gabe, from your mom, dad, sister, and your brother. Dixie Normas. Happy 48th birthday to you. And Emerson Biggins. You'll, ha you'll always be my girl. Happy birthday to you as well. Craven Moorhead, happy 21st birthday. That's been a while for me. You came a long way. Anita Lay, happy birthday to my sweet little girl, Anita. Mike Hunt, happy birthday to my hubby, Mike. Anita Hooray, happy birthday, Anita, from your favorite son-in-law. And uh, here we go. I forgot. We got some uh, anniversaries here. Donna and Harry Mo Webster, may this anniversary be our best. Let's see here. Mike and Julia Hawk, 23 years ago on this day, I found you love, Julia. Uh, Esther and Emma Royds. Uh, we love you too from the kids. Amy and Willie B. Hardigan. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Love, Joseph. Billy, Bill and May Ann Nays. Happy anniversary to Bill and May Ann Nays. And then a Martha, or Huge and Martha, Hugh and Mar, uh, Rection. Happy anniversary to us, uh, to you. Love, honey, from Martha.